call. My name is Marie Bertrand. I'm a microbiologist, skin expert, entrepreneur, and medical spa owner. I've owned my own medical spa for the past eight years now. So over the years, I've really had a chance to meet with thousands of people and to work with hundreds of different skincare lines. And I've become an expert at actually analyzing product formulation in terms of pH concentration, formulation, packaging. And what I wanted to do today is to talk about the Optimera difference, because this is a question that I get very often from brand partners. Marie, what's the difference between Optimera and this product or Optimera and this serum? And what makes it different? What makes it better? So this is exactly what I wanted to do today. You'll be able to understand the true difference of Optimera. What makes it different? What makes it better? What makes it more complete? And what makes it take the guesswork out of skincare and aging in particular? I just want to share with you how I've analyzed the products. So what I did, first of all, is that I researched the best sellers. So best selling products on the market, I've researched them. And then after that, I wanted to make sure as well that we had a good market representation. So the products that we're going to analyze today are going to be some from the drugstore channel, some from department stores, some are available at spas, medical spas, doctor's offices. We're going to analyze six different competitor to Optimera in different market representation. After what I've done is that I've researched each product's ingredients and I've analyzed the ingredient deck and broke it down into mode of action when it comes to skin aging, but also took into consideration the packaging and the stability as well that comes from experience of working with those products. And after that, comparing it with what Optimera does. In order to improve the signs of aging, we need to have a multifaceted approach. Aging looks different on different people. It looks different on me than on you. And because we have different DNA, we are going to age differently. So when we're talking about the different signs of aging, we're talking about firmness, you know, when the jowls and just kind of the bounciness of the skin, the deeper firmness of the skin. We're talking about wrinkles, of course. We talk about skin discoloration. So whether it's in the reds or browns or both. Oxidative stress also contributes to aging. Inflammation, which is a fairly new concept when it comes to skin care and skin aging in a process called inflammation. So we know that inflammation, whether genetically derived um, from the diet, um, from what we do in the environment, inflammation actually leads to skin aging. But also I wanted to include two new key items to improving and approaching aging. The first one is exfoliation and the second one is hydration. These two aspects are very important in helping to improve the signs of aging. So we've got seven different signs of aging or seven different aspects that we want to work on if we want to improve aging. When we take a look at the ingredient deck of Optimera Day Cream, sometimes when we take a look at ingredient listing, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So what I've done for you, because this is one of my expertise, is that I've actually analyzed the Nerium Optimera Day Ingredient Deck, and I've narrowed it down to what it does in terms of the signs of aging. So at the bottom of this slide, you can see that in terms of firmness, Nerium Optimera Day actually has nine ingredients that work on firmness, nine different ingredients that work on wrinkles, five on discoloration, six ingredients work on oxidative stress and an antioxidant approach, 11 work on inflammation, including the SIG-1273, of course, two ingredients work on exfoliation, and 12 work specifically on hydration. So as you can see, the Optimera Day not only addresses seven signs of aging, but also each aspect of aging is addressed by multiple different active ingredients. This is an important concept to remember. When we analyze the Optimera Night, what we can see the same way, so analyzing each individual ingredient and linking it to a mode of action, what we can find is that six ingredients from Optimera Night work on firmness, six different ones work on wrinkles, two on discoloration, the reds and the browns, four on oxidative stress, having an antioxidant approach, five on inflammation, one on exfoliation, and 13 on hydration. So it's very, very, very complete. And each sign is addressed, or each aspect of aging is addressed by multiple active ingredients. 
By the way, there's one thing that I wanted to show you because I get that question very frequently. Sal 14. People ask me, Marie, Sal 14, where is it in the ingredient listing? So here it is. So the Sal 14, if you remember correctly, is actually made out of two active ingredients. And those two active ingredients, the combination is highlighted in yellow. Biden's Pelosa extract is one of the two active ingredients that come into the composition of Sal 14. The other one is Maritia Flexiosa fruit oil. The SIG 1273 as well, I get asked frequently, where is it, Marie, in the Optimera night and day ingredient deck? And it's actually highlighted here in yellow. So this is the exclusive SIG 1273 that comes from the Princeton Technology and Dr. Jeffrey Stock. So let's start our analysis. I'm not going to be mentioning any names today, but you know, I'm sure that you guys know enough about skincare and about the different bestsellers and skincare products in the market that you can figure it out on your own. So the first one is a ceramide product that is actually a bestseller in department stores. And when we analyze the ingredient listing, we come to the conclusion that two ingredients work on firmness, two on wrinkles, and 11 on hydration. So it really addresses three out of the seven aspects of aging that are interesting to us. So not as complete as Optimera. And if you once again compare, you know, what's at the bottom here, what Optimera, I've compared it to the day cream. So what Optimera does in terms of that multifaceted approach, Optimera is a much more complete product. This next product is actually available exclusively in spas and medical spas and doctor's offices, and it's a retinol product. Now, once we analyze the ingredient deck, we can see that the product actually, fair enough, works on six out of the seven signs of aging, but only one ingredient works on firmness, one on wrinkles, one on discoloration, four on inflammation, one on exfoliation, and 18 on hydration. So it's a great hydrating product, but it is not as complete in terms of the multifaceted approach to each of the aspect of aging. It's not as complete as the Optimera offer. The third product is actually available at Sephora. I'm sure that you know that channel very well. It is a vitamin C product that is a bestseller at Sephora. When we analyze the ingredients, so this one is a little bit different because when we analyze the ingredient listing, we see that the product actually works on six out of the seven aspects of aging. And it's a little bit more of a multifaceted approach. You know, the, so four ingredients work on firmness, six on wrinkles, two on discoloration, et cetera, et cetera. It's not as complete as the Optimera, but it would seem when, when you analyze it that, oh, you know, that's fair enough. It's kind of more complete. So maybe we're getting on to something. But as a skin scientist and a microbiologist, the problem that I have with this product is actually not in what it contains. It's actually in how it's packaged. So what we know from a scientific perspective is that vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, which is the second ingredient on the deck, as well as on the second line, you've got some retinol there. That's a vitamin A. We know that retinol and L-ascorbic acid are very unstable, and they are unstable when they get in contact with air. So formulating a product in a jar that has L-ascorbic acid and retinol, it doesn't make any sense from a cosmetic science perspective. So this product is a bestseller. It has a multifaceted approach to aging, six out of seven, but it's not properly packaged. So one thing that we can be sure of with Optimera is that the airless pump actually keeps, it, you know, it prevents any air from getting into the product and it really keeps all of the formulation very stable, no contact with air, no contact with light as well that can change a product's stability. So this product in my books is not a great product because of how it's packaged. Our fourth product is a very popular product, bestseller in drugstores. When we take a look at how it's formulated, we see that it addresses six out of the seven aspects of aging. One ingredient works on firmness versus nine for Optimera. So there it's not the same multifaceted approach. One on wrinkles, one on discoloration, two on oxidative stress, three on inflammation, and 12 on hydration. So once again, you might say, hmm, Okay, it's not as complete as the Optimera, but it does six out of the seven. You know, you might think, okay, well, we're getting somewhere here too. 
But once again, from a microbiologist and a skin scientist perspective, this product um, is not optimal. And I would like to draw your attention to the last line. The last line of the ingredient deck actually contains ethylparaben, methylparaben, and propylparaben. So three parabens. You know, we know that parabens have been linked to some estrogenic properties when applied topically. Anyways, we want to stay away from parabens as much as we can. And what I really like about the Nerium Optimera AM and PM formulation is that it doesn't have any parabens in it. So we don't need to worry about that. So this product in my books is not complete. The fifth product is a vitamin C and ferulic acid product. So it's a product that is very popular, uh, bestseller in spas, medical spas, and doctor's offices. When we take a look at the ingredient listing, we see that it covers six out of the seven aspects of aging, but it's not very multifaceted. So one ingredient on firmness, one on wrinkles, two on discoloration, three on oxidative stress, antioxidant, one on inflammation, and five on hydration. For me, I have worked with this product before, and one of the things that we need to be careful about, once again, because this product contains L-ascorbic acid, the most potent form of vitamin C. When we want to formulate a product with L-ascorbic acid, as I told you before, we need to put it in an airtight container. This product, as soon as you open it, the air will get in contact, it will deactivate the vitamin C, and it will oxidize as well. So you will see very rapidly within the first, I would say, two to three months of opening the product, you really get this kind of dark orange tint, which actually means that the vitamin C has been oxidized. So for me, this product is not as complete and as multifaceted as Optimera, but also it has a problem um, in my eyes, um, you know, in terms of the stability. And that comes from experiencing the product myself. The last product that I wanted to analyze actually comes from the drugstore. So this is a retinol product that a lot of my patients come to the clinic with when they first come in for their consultation. What we can see after analyzing the ingredient deck is that it works on six out of the seven signs of aging, but it's not multifaceted. One on firmness, two ingredients on wrinkles, one on discoloration, one on oxidative stress, exfoliation and 14 on hydration. So good hydrating product, but not as complete as the Optimera. And one thing that kind of makes me cringe a little bit is um, how high the uh, preservative system is in the ingredient deck. So of course, one thing that you need to know is that the products that come first is the highest concentration and the products that come last are at the least concentration. So when I see that their chemical preservative is, you know, on the third line. It's a little bit high, so I know the percentage is going to be higher. You don't want to have a high percentage of preservative. You want to have a low percentage of preservative if you have it. You want to have it as, as low as you can and not so high in the ingredient deck. In conclusion, what I would like to say is, first of all, Nerium, Optimera, AM, and PM, they both work on all seven signs of aging. Not only that, but each sign or each cause of aging is addressed but multiple times by different ingredients. It's also a double exclusivity. So with the exclusivity of the SAL-14 and the SIG-1273. The results are scientifically proven by third-party clinical trial. Why is that important? It's important because we need a third party. We need somebody who is unbiased, um, who knows how to do clinical trials properly, but really, really unbiased as to the outcome of the trial. And this is what Nerium has done. And this is, this is the right way to do science. In terms of the results as well, we do see amazing before and afters with Optimera. The 30 days results are beautiful and then it keeps on improving also over time. What we've seen is that 93% of people who try Optimera have saw an improvement in the appearance of their wrinkles. 92% who use the age-defying night cream show a significant improvement in skin radiance and 72% show an improvement in skin discoloration, so the reds and the browns. Remember, at the bottom of this slide, remember that Nerium is a multifaceted approach to skin aging. And not only do we have, you know, one ingredient that does one thing, but we have multiple ingredients that address 
many different signs or causes of aging. So that's very, very strong. Nerium optimera is very unique in that way. Um, both the AM and the PM contain the SAL14, and of course they contain the SIG1273. But overall, it's a strong, strong product that will enable you to take the guesswork out of skin aging, really. I want to thank you for your attention, and I want to thank you for taking the time to join this conference call to have a better understanding of what makes the Optimera difference. I hope that you have gained a lot of knowledge when it comes to comparing and that you've understood that this product is truly a superior product and you can trust in the fact that because it works on so many different signs of aging, but also with different active ingredients for each one, you will really maximize the chances of getting outstanding anti-aging results. Thank you very much for your attention and we'll see you later.